Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. Before I get into that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos, for subscribing and for commenting. I, I, I'm just amazed. I, I'm absolutely amazed by the amount of traffic that I have from all over the world. People everywhere saying wonderful things about me. It's, it's just, it's very humbling and it's very, it just makes me th very thankful. It really does. I just have a handful of items today. Uh, the first article is one uh, by Cheryl Atkinson, who's an independent journalist. And the title of the article is U.S. Child Deaths on the Rise, Partly Blamed on Immune Overreaction. If you read the article, um, <clears throat> the increase in deaths is not l large. It, it's about 3%, but still, it's a concern. Uh, we don't want deaths going in that direction. And the article doesn't really suggest a cause. Uh, it mentions the immune overreaction, which is kind of a vague term, which could mean almost anything. And it does mention that uh, pregnant women were uh, encouraged by the CDC to get the COVID shot, but there's no correlation between the two made in the article. So I'm not sure what to make of it other than it's concerning. The second article I have is in Real, Real Clear Politics, and the title of the article is AI's Left-Wing Bias on Crime and Gun Control. This was a study done by John Lott, and if you're not familiar with John Lott, he's an economist who does a lot of work in the area of gun control and crime. And uh, he did a research article, or he did a research project, looking at bias in AI and found that there was varying levels on it of it depending on the the uh, the producers of the ai the owners of that product but uh, the point that i wanted to get to on this is if you think about it ai is a computer generated response to questions basically and if we begin to rely on those, basically what we're relying on is what the programmers who are making this AI product have put into it. And so we get their take on things and we don't know what that is because they don't reveal that. So once again, it's a case of where just like with the media and in the old days, you know, the media was the only source of news. We, we need to find ways to get information that is not being filtered by someone else so that we're getting only a certain point of view, no matter what that point of view is, whether it's left wing, right wing, you know, center, whatever. What we need is information that isn't filtered, that isn't altered in some way to make us think in a certain way. The third article, and of course I put the links to all these in the description. Uh, the third article is titled, I was wrong about renewables, says a former green energy executive. And the article talks about some of the issues with uh, green energy, particularly wind energy, which uh, is completely dependent upon there being wind to drive it. And even solar energy is completely dependent on the sun actually shining and there not being any clouds. And so the production of energy through those means has not increased. In fact, in some cases, it's decreased a little bit. And although the U.S. has reduced its uh, air, it has increased air quality, reduced air pollution, in the past uh, 12 months. It's more due to the use of natural gas as opposed to coal than it is to the use of renewable energy products. So we still have a long ways to go. I've done a lot of work on my house to make it more energy efficient. And I would encourage ever, anyone to do that if they can afford to do it. It's not inexpensive, but if you can afford it, it, it will definitely help you with your bills. But I don't think I don't think we're quite there yet with the renewable energy. We've got more work to do. Solar panels have to become more energy efficient before they're really cost effective. 
And there's a lot of other things in the renewables that, that are being heavily promoted in a lot of places that are not encouraging. There, we really need to slow down and move with more caution and, and more deliberation and make sure that we're doing the right things. And then the last is an article that I want to show you, and uh, you'll understand why once I've shown it to you. The title of this article is Detroit High School Teacher Fired After Parent Complained About Her Side Hustle as a Rapper. And when I first saw, saw that, I thought, well, what in the world? Why would what she does on her own time matter to someone? So I read the article and I did some research on her. And I highlighted this one section. Her name is Dominique Brown, and she's 32, and she was named Teacher of the Month in December. And now she's been dismissed. And the reason is because she created a rap song. This is a picture of it, but I'm also going to give you the official version, a link to it, so that you can watch it for yourself. I've watched it, and it, it's, to me, it's what I would describe as a tickle, typical black rap. There's cursing in it. Um, there's uh, the use of the N-word. There's all the things you typically see in black rap, but I don't see anything in it, and I looked for the lyrics, that to me says this woman doesn't need to be a teacher. So I really don't understand what's going on here. It's I think our world has become far too judgmental. We need to relax and just let people live their lives. And this young lady is apparently a very good teacher because she won. Uh, she was named Teacher of the Month in December, and yet now she's been let go. And teachers are hard to find, especially good ones like her. So I don't really understand what's going on there, but I thought I'd show that article to you because it was an area of interest. So again, I'll put all these links in the description for you to, to read on your own if you want and to watch the rap video if you want to. And I want you to know that I appreciate you a great deal, more than you can possibly understand. And I pray for you every day. I pray that you will live an abundant life and that you'll be healthy, that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will let your request be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.